I am singing Madame Butterfly here at Lyric Opera of Kansas City. This is my first time singing the role, so I'm very excited and very grateful for the company and, and so thankful for Ward for thinking of, of me. This is my second time in Kansas City. I was here last season singing another doomed Asian, Liu. Being in the Kaufman Center for the very first time was just amazing. The energy in the crowd was unbelievable. Um, singing with Lise Lindstrom and Arnold Rawls and Sam Raimi, and I held his hand during the entire show pretty much, was just a, an amazing experience. And um, it's just um, nice to be a part of, of something that makes history because it was the opening of the, op of the season in the new Performing Arts Center, which is just absolutely beautiful and just wonderful to sing. Yeah. I, I always found the story very, um, or not so much the story, but I found the character very weak. And I, I'm, not, I, I'm not attracted to weak characters, but I am eating my words now because she is anything but weak. She's probably one of the strongest characters I've ever sung. I just, I don't know why I found it so weak. I just thought that she was so silly and so ridiculous to be waiting for this man for three years and then to give up the baby. And it's wrong. It's, it's, it was so wrong of me to think that way. And I was always very respectful of the word, of the role um, vocally as well because it's a lot of singing. It's a lot of big heavy duty singing. And um, and I was just very timid by it, you know. But um, in studying the role, I'm singing her with my voice, and I have to remind myself that she is a 15-year-old geisha, very very young. Later on, she's maybe 18, 19 at most, you know. So she's still still quite young. So I I am going to approach her in a very youthful way. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to be able to do it and it feels really good. <laughs> and, and this is my first time playing a geisha, so I did go see a movement coach before coming here and I learned with her how to walk like a geisha, how to stand, how to move my hands, how to bow, how to do all those things. And I think it's very interesting, um, all the little movements since everything is very small and calculative and, and controlled even. You know, with the obi and stuff like that, you feel very constricted. All of that almost makes you childlike. So it's very, it comes very easy to be, you know, to kind of behave like a, a young 15 year old, you know. But later on, you know, in act two, when before you realize that she's had the child, Puccini is just such a master in writing, you know, all the little nuances that make her so small and petite and, and childlike, you know. And it's not until we discover that she's had the child, and in Act 3 especially, you know, even then in Act 3 there's a little bit of like when she's looking for Pinkerton that she thinks he's arrived. You know, oh, he's here, he's here, has he come, has he come? And then it all hits her, he's not here. So then we go back to, it's, it's just, I think it's just magical writing. It's just wonderful, his collaboration with both the librettists and and his music, and it's just perfection. It really is. Puccini is just a genius.